Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and today we will get into how to ascend and descend a rope. Let's go! So first off it's going to be ascending and descending a rope on our descender. First things first, the backup. I attach my backup to my backup rope. I'm using a Petzl ASAP lock. After that, I thread the rope through my descending device. And I'm using a Petzl ID, as I've shown you in a previous video, which you can check out up here. I thread in the rope. I step up onto my toes and through, pull through the slack and sit back, stand back down, basically. I could sit back down as well. I lock off the device. So we'll be going through all the steps in a best practice sort of way. To some of you experienced rope access technicians out there, it might seem like too much, but this is the way, the neatest way, basically. So I get my ascender, my hand ascender with my foot loop attached to it. I attach it to my climbing rope, my main rope. I lock off all the carabiners, put my foot in the foot loop. And then with my left hand, I grab the ascender and with my right hand I will be manipulating the rope. All right, and it's going to look like this. I'm going to step up and then pull through the slack. Sit back down, lock the descender and move everything else. Stand up, pull through the slack, sit back down, lock the descender. There we go again. I'm going to step up and open the descending handle in one smooth motion while I grab the rope. Open the handle, grab the rope, stand up, pull through the slack, sit back down. Manage the back up. And this is the same step you will repeat through the entire process. So once more, I have the back up draped over my left shoulder in this case, over my hand. I hold hand of the sender on the top. I open the handle, stand up, pull through the slack, sit back down, close the handle, manage my backup. Open the handle, pull through the slack, close the handle, manage my backup. And that's the way you can continue climbing up. If you arrived at your work spot, you can clean up. Now I can start doing my work, or if I want to have a cup of coffee, I need to go down. I drape the rope over the rounded edge of the descender, but this varies by type, basically. I'm using a Petzl ID, and there's this rounded edge. I thread the rope over that, open the handle, hold my, before I do that, I hold the tail end of the rope with my right hand, open the handle with my left, and slowly come back down. In a controlled manner, of course. I arrive at the bottom, undo my backup device, take out the rope from the descender, close it again, and that's it, I'm done. This movement was sponsored by Industrial Klimme. Industrial Klimme is a training center, as you can see behind me, beautiful training center. Uh, it's located right above Amsterdam in the Netherlands and you can come here for your G GWO training or your basic working at heights training or of course your Arata training as well. They also provide all kinds of different other types of training which might be uh, first aid training or enhanced first aid. There's advanced rescue training for the GWO syllabus. Also any training you can think of regarding working safely at height. If you have a specific situation for your company, just contact them and they can work out a training tailor-made for you. Besides the practical stuff of the training center, there is a shop next door where you can come and test out all the climbing gear. And if you know what you want, you can 
go to the web shop and order there. If you like this video, please leave a comment, subscribe, like of course, hit that notification bell so you're sure that you will never miss a video when it comes out. All right, stay connected.